farming is the first skill you learn in Stardew Valley. Farming produces crops which can be used as food, gifts, in quest, and the community center as well as sold to make a profit. Farming includes buying and planting seeds as well as watering them every day to ensure that they continue growing. If a crop isn't watered, it will never fully grow. Seeds can be planted or watered at any point during the day. On the first day of spring year 1, the first thing you wake up to on your new farm is a box of parsnip seeds. You may also come across mixed seeds, which are a random variety of in-season crop. In order to plant seeds, you need to till the ground with your hoe. You have to make sure that the ground is clear of any debris first. When you harvest crops, you will gain XP depending on which crop you harvest. As you continue to gain XP, you will level up and unlock different crafting recipes that can help you through your farming journey. Once you reach farming level 1, you will unlock the recipe for the Scarecrow and Fertilizer. Scarecrows are important because they protect your crops from being eaten by crows. Scarecrows protection range spans 8 tiles in radius, protecting 248 tiles of your crops, so make sure that you have enough scarecrows on your farm. Fertilizer is used to increase the chance of harvesting a higher quality crop. Higher quality crops sell for more money and make for better gifts. Once the crop starts growing, you can no longer use fertilizer. When you reach farming level 2, you will unlock the sprinkler recipe. This will automatically water the adjacent 4 crops next to your sprinkler, saving time and energy. You can buy in-season seeds at Pierre's General Store, but make sure you look at how long the crop takes to harvest. You can buy seasonal seeds at any time, but if you plant one too late in the season, it will die out on the first day of the next season. On Spring 5th Year 1, you will unlock the Community Center, which will have bundles of different items that you need to complete in order to repair the Community Center. After reading the scroll the next day, you will receive a letter from the wizard telling you to meet him at his tower. This will unlock the ability to donate items to the Community Center. In the pantry, there are different bundles that you need crops to complete. Two of the bundles that use spring crops are the spring crops bundle as well as the quality crops bundle. In the spring crops bundle you need a potato, parsnip, green bean, and cauliflower. In the quality crops bundle you need 5 gold quality parsnips. There are 9 different crops that can be grown in spring year 1. Coffee beans take 10 days to grow and 2 days to regrow and sell for 15g each. The only way to get coffee beans year 1 is from the traveling cart or from a dust sprite. Rice shoots take 8 days to grow. If planted within 3 tiles of natural water, rice shoots take only 6 days to grow. They sell for 30g each. You can get rice shoots from the mines, worms, or from fishing treasure chests. Tulips take 6 days to grow and sell for 30g. Parsnips take 4 days to grow and sell for 35g. Green bean takes 10 days to grow but regrows every 3 days after that. They sell for 40g each. Blue jazz takes 7 days to grow and sells for 50g. Potatoes take 6 days to grow and sell for 80g. Potatoes also have the ability to multi-harvest. This means that sometimes multiple potatoes will appear from one single potato spot. Kale takes 6 days to grow and sells for 110g. Strawberries take 8 days to grow and 4 days to regrow. They sell for 120g each. Strawberries also have the ability to multi-harvest. You can buy strawberry seeds at the Egg Festival on Spring 13th. Cauliflower takes 12 days to grow and sells for 175g. The first thing you need to do on Summer 1 is take out your scythe and clear out all of your dead crops. This is normal, don't panic. There will also be a good amount of new debris spawned on the farm at the start of each season, so you may want to clear that out before preparing your new farming space. The next thing you want to do is head over to Pierre's and check out the new Summer Seeds. Coffee Bean takes 10 days to grow and 2 days to regrow. They sell for 15g each. Since coffee is also a spring crop, it won't die when the season changes from spring to summer. Wheat takes 4 days to grow and sells for 25g each. In order to harvest wheat, you need to use a scythe. After unlocking the silo, wheat has a chance of harvesting hay. Hops take 11 days to grow but regrow every day after that. They sell for 25g each. Corn takes 14 days to grow and regrows every 4 days. They sell for 50g each. Corn also grows in fall so if you plant it at the beginning of summer, it'll grow every 4 days in fall. Blueberry takes 13 days to grow and 4 days to regrow. They sell for 50g each. The interesting thing about blueberries is that they will always triple harvest. Blueberries also have a 2% chance to harvest more than 3. Hot peppers take 5 days to grow and 3 days to regrow. Tomatoes take 11 days to grow and 4 days to regrow. Sunflowers take 8 days to grow and sell for 80g. Sunflower also has a chance of harvesting extra seeds. This means that despite the price of sunflower seeds, after a few harvests, the sunflowers will pay for themselves. Summer spangles take 8 days to grow and sell for 90g each. Radishes take 6 days to grow and sell for 90g each as well. Poppies take 7 days to grow and sell for 140g each. Melons take 12 days to grow and sell for 250g each. And starfruit takes 13 days to grow and sells for 750g each. Starfruit is the highest selling fruit in the entire game. You can unlock starfruit after either completing the vault bundle or Jojo Mart's bus development to gain access to Calico Desert. The seeds can then be bought from Sandy at the Oasis for 400g each. You want to make sure you buy hops, corn, hot peppers, blueberries, and tomatoes immediately because these plants regrow throughout the season. 
In the community center to complete the summer crops bundle, you'll need one blueberry, one hot pepper, one melon, and one tomato. You will also need five gold star melons for the quality crops bundle. Corn is used in the fall crops bundle and the quality crops bundle, so it's good to keep that in mind since you can grow them in summer. This means that the quality crops bundle can be completed in the middle of summer. Once your melons grow and are harvested, it's a great time to fill with corn and prep for fall since corn will continue to grow throughout the next season. Now let's talk about animals. To prep for getting animals, you should always build a silo. Silos will keep up to 240 pieces of hay stored on your farm, which you can access within your cooper barn to feed your animals with. Each animal eats one piece of hay per day. In order to build a silo, you need to go to Robin's Carpenter Shop. You will need 100G, 100 stone, 10 clay, and 5 copper bars. Once your silo has been fully built, you can now cut grass with a scythe and have a 50% chance of harvesting hay. Now it's coop time. Go back to Robin's with 4000G, 100 wood, and 300 stone. Once it's built, you can buy white and brown chickens from Marty's Ranch for 800G each. Make sure to keep at least one large white egg and one large brown egg as you'll need both of these eggs for the animal bundle in the community center. Baby chicks that are fed reach maturity after the third day. To build a barn, you need to bring 6000G, 150 stone, and 350 wood to Robin's. Then you can buy white and brown chickens at Marnie's Ranch for 1500G each. Unlike chickens, their color doesn't affect the products that are produced. Cows take 5 days to grow as long as they're fed every day. If you pet your barn animals as well as give them hay every day or let them outside to eat grass, it will increase their happiness. This helps with the quality of their product that they produce. Level 5 farming will unlock the rancher or tiller profession. Rancher will make animal products worth 20% more and tiller will make crops worth 10% more. Due to the level 10 farming profession perk, choosing tiller at level 5 is going to be worth it in the long run. After clearing your farm again, it's time to buy some fall seeds. Wheat takes 4 days to grow and sells for 25g. Corn takes 14 days to grow, regrows after 4 days and sells for 50g each. Eggplant takes 5 days to grow and regrows after 5 days as well. It sells for 60g. Cranberries take 7 days to grow and regrow after 5 days. They sell for 75g. Bok choy takes 4 days to grow and sells for 80g. Grapes take 10 days to grow and regrow every 3 days. They sell for 80g each. Beets take 6 days to grow and sell for 100g. Beets can only be bought from the Oasis. Amaranth takes 8 days to grow and sells for 150g. Yam takes 12 days to grow and sells for 160g. Berry Rose takes 10 days to grow and sells for 290g. Pumpkin takes 13 days to grow and sells for 320g. And Sweet Gemberry takes 24 days to grow and sells for 3000g. Sweet Gemberries grow from the rare seed bought at the traveling cart. In the community center to complete the fall crops bundle, you will need corn, eggplant, pumpkin, and yam. When you reach level 6 farming, you will unlock the recipe for cheese presses and quality sprinklers. Cheese presses allow milk to turn into cheese, which is one of the best non-buffed foods in the game. Cheese only takes 3 in-game hours to produce. To craft this, you need 45 wood, 45 stone, 10 hardwood, and 1 copper bar. Quality sprinklers cover one tile in each direction, which is four more squares than the regular sprinklers. This is because the quality sprinklers cover the corners. To craft these, you need one iron bar, one gold bar, and one refined quartz. After reaching level 8 farming, you will unlock the recipe for kegs. You can put one fruit or veggie into the keg and it will turn into wine or juice. This multiplies fruit value by 3 and vegetable value by 2.25. Now let's talk about the big coop and big barn. You can upgrade your coop to a big coop for 10,000 sheep, 400 wood, and 150 stone. This will unlock ducks as well as the ability to get void chickens or dinosaurs in your coop. In order to upgrade your barn, you will need 12,000 sheep, 450 wood, and 200 stone. This unlocks goats, which you can buy from Marnie's for 4,000 G each. The big barn allows your barn animals to get pregnant and the big coop comes with an incubator. If your barn is not full, there is a random chance for a random animal in the barn to give birth. In the coop, you have to manually place an egg in the incubator and wait for the egg to hatch. This incubator is where you can place a void egg or dinosaur egg if you're able to come across one. Thank you all for watching, I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure to subscribe to catch future guides, and of course, I'll see you in the next one. Specialty crops and year 2 exclusive crops are needed in order to complete perfection. Let's talk about how to make the most out of your farm space available. Garlic can be bought at Pierre's in spring year 2. It sells for 60g each. Garlic takes 4 days to grow. Rhubarb can be bought at the Oasis any time of the year. It grows in spring on the farm. Rhubarb sells for 220g and takes 13 days to grow. Red cabbage can be bought from Pierre's in summer year too. It takes 9 days to grow and sells for 260g. Pineapple seeds can be purchased from the island trader for one magma cap each. They can also be obtained from a hothead or tiger slime drop. Pineapples grow in summer. 
They take 14 days to grow, 7 days to regrow, and sell for 300g. Arrowroot is produced from tarot tubers. Tarot tubers can be bought from the island trader for 2 bone fragments. Tarot tubers can also be found from artifact spots, canning, the dungeon, or from golden coconuts. They take 10 days to grow or 7 days if planted next to a water source. They sell for 100g each. Artichokes can be bought from Pierre's in fall year 2. They take 8 days to grow and sell for 160g. Ancient fruit seeds can be found after donating an ancient seed to the museum. This gives you the recipe to craft ancient fruit seeds and also gives you one free ancient fruit seed. Ancient fruit takes 28 days to grow and 7 days to regrow. They can grow in any season except for winter, but they are most effective in the greenhouse. They sell for 550g each. Cactus fruit can be bought from the oasis. Cactus fruit can only grow in a garden pot, in the greenhouse, or on Ginger Island. They take 12 days to grow, 3 days to regrow, and sell for 75g. Fiber seeds can be acquired from completing the special orders board request community cleanup. After completing this quest, Linus will send you the recipe in the mail. They take 7 days to grow and produce 4 to 7 fiber per crop. They also don't require water and can grow in any season. Although they only sell for 1G, they're very useful because you can use them in a lot of crafting recipes. Key saplings can be acquired after completing Caroline's Two Heart Friendship event in her tea room. After being crafted, they can grow in spring, summer, or fall outside. They take 20 days to grow and regrow every single day during the last week of the season. They produce tea leaves which sell for 50G each. Although tea leaves can be sold, you can alternatively just sell the tea sapling. They sell for 500g each, which is one of the best ways to make money early game. After reaching farming level 9, you unlock the recipe for the Iridium Sprinkler and the Seed Maker. Iridium Sprinklers water a massive 24 crops at a time. And the Seed Maker can turn any fruit or vegetable back into seed, but sometimes has a chance of producing multiple seeds. This is extremely useful for duplicating both ancient fruit and sweet gem berries. After reaching farming level 10, you have another choice of perks to choose from. If you chose Rancher, you have the choice between Coopmaster or Shepherd as your final profession. Coopmaster lets you befriend Coop animals faster and cuts your incubation time in half for both the regular incubator as well as the ostrich incubator. This also improves the quality of your animal items within the Coop. You have a 19% chance to get a gold quality item and a 73% chance to get an iridium quality item when harvesting from your Coop. If you chose Shepherd, you can befriend barn animals faster. It will also make your sheep produce wool every 2 days, opposed to the usual every 3 days. If you chose Tiller at level 5, you have the choice between Artisan and Agriculturalist. Artisan makes Artisan goods worth a whopping 40% more money. This is the best profession in the entire game, hands down. This can massively increase the price of wine, juice, and more. Agriculturalist makes all crops grow 10% faster. Let's talk about your final coop and barn upgrade. To upgrade to a deluxe coop, you'll need 20,000 G, 500 wood, and 200 stone. This will increase your animal capacity from 8 to 12 and will unlock rabbit. It also comes with an auto feeder so you don't even need to worry about putting hay down every day. As long as you have hay in your silo, it will automatically feed every animal every day. You can buy rabbits and marnies for 8000 G and they'll produce rabbit feet and wool. To upgrade to a deluxe barn, you'll need 25,000 G, 550 wood, and 300 stone. Your barn capacity will also increase from 8 to 12. Just like the coop, the deluxe barn also has an auto feeder. You will now be able to buy sheep and pigs from Marnies. Sheep can be bought for 8000g at Marnies, but make sure you remember to buy shears. You'll need shears once the sheep is old enough in order to produce wool. Pigs can be bought for 16000g and will mature after 10 days. They produce truffles every single day as long as it isn't raining or winter. In order to produce truffles, they have to be outside. There are 8 different fruit trees in Stardew Valley. They take an entire season to grow. Once they're fully grown, they will produce fruit every single day while they're in season. If you place trees in the greenhouse, they will produce fruit every single day once fully grown, no matter what season it is. The trees will only produce normal quality fruit at first. Each year that the tree has been planted, they'll increase in quality. In spring, you can harvest from apricot trees and cherry trees. The apricot tree can be bought for 2000G and sell for 50G per fruit. The cherry tree can be bought for 3400G and sell for 80G a fruit. In summer, the banana tree, mango tree, orange tree, and peach tree can grow. Banana tree is sold at the island trader for 5 dragon teeth or found in golden coconuts at Clint's. Each banana sells for 150g. The mango tree can be bought at the island trader for 75 mussels. It can also be found in golden coconuts at Clint's. Each mango sells for 130g. The orange tree can be bought for 4000g. Oranges sell for 100g each. The peach tree can be bought for 6000g. Peaches sell for 140g each. In fall, apple trees and pomegranate trees can grow. Apple trees can be bought for 4,000G and sell for 100G each. Pomegranate trees can be bought for 6,000G. Pomegranates sell for 140G each. Thank you all for watching, I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure to subscribe to catch future guides. And of course, I'll see you in the next one.